Hey guys, so you may have seen these floating around before some, someplace on the web. These kind of little orbs on different websites that you can actually click on and talk to them. Well, I'm going to show you exactly how you can set it up on your website. And not only can you talk to them, but they can actually book appointments for you. So before we do that, I'm going to go through the demonstration to show you kind of how it works. And then I'll show you exactly how to set it up and the whole thing should be like less than 10 minutes hopefully so let's just go through the demo first you got to click on it there you go hi there this is katie an ai sales representative from lead indicator ai who am i speaking with today hi my name is bernie hi bernie nice to meet you are you interested in participating in a role play demonstration to see how our AI can help your business? Yeah, sure. Great. To customize the role play demonstration, I'll need to ask you a few questions about your business. Could you start by telling me the name of your business? Yeah, well, the name of my business is actually Lead Indicator. That's awesome, Bernie. Could you describe your business in a few sentences? What do you specialize in? We specialize in helping people grow their business using AI. That sounds fantastic. What's your best selling service or the one you're most proud of? Our best selling service is probably our packages that couple with Go High Level, that integrate seamlessly with Go High Level. Mm -hmm. Got it. For the role play, I'll act as a sales representative for Lead Indicator, focusing on your AI packages that integrate seamlessly with Go High Level. Let's dive in. Role play, start high there. Thanks for reaching out to Lead Indicator. My name is Katie and I am here to help. How can I assist you today? Okay, so you get it, like, you don't, here, I'm going to turn her off. You don't need to go through the entire thing because now she's going to act as if she's a sales rep for me. But basically the prompt is that, the, the prompt is in a way that she's going to engage with the customer and then prompt the customer to say, hey, I, I, can, be an, I can be an AI sales rep for you. Let's go in a role play. So, and she's trained to act as if she can be a sales rep for any any industry. So if I would have said I'm a sole, like for a sole rep or something, like my company is, a, or mortgage, she would have just immediately shifted and been like, okay, like I'm your sales representative for your mortgage company, and then started asking questions and try to sell you for mortgage. So she's showing you that you can be, you know, that she's dynamic, and it'll help you sell your AI product. So I'm going to show you exactly like how you can get this set up on your website. So all, all we're going to do is I set up a kind of a little burner set here on how you can actually set it up. But what we would do is we're going to go here to AI Assistant. And we're going to create a new one. Now for this one, I'm going to literally just import it with an ID. Use the exact same ID that I... of the same model that I just showed you. Which is really cool about this is like, if you have something that works, you don't have to recreate it from scratch. So I'm gonna just import the exact same assistant ID and I can duplicate it. So boom, so it's now it's orb to assistant copy. And now it's in this sub account. So like I took it from my own sub account, but now it's in here copied. Um, and you can see like, it's, you know, your KD and AI agent designed to conduct a role play demonstration at Lead Indicator. We specialize in creating intelligent AI agents, right? It goes about pricing. Our services include this, style guardrails, response, response guideline. And then I have some stuff here. I noticed that the assistant would sometimes say lead. So I have this here for pronounced lead. And then I have this in case, this is for like spammers. And then the whole task of like how to go through and conduct the role play. So if anybody comes onto the website, It'll, you know, ask them what their business name is and get all their information. And then, so that's it. Like, so it's super easy to get that started. Now what we're going to do is we can use Grace, but I actually kind of like Emily. So we're going to go over here uh, and, oh, Emily, it's right in front of my face. So let's just use Emily. And then for the everything else, I'm not going to even really mess with it. And then we can add it to a calendar. 
and it'll be able to book an appointment and then all we have to do is give it all these abilities. Um, it's not going to really be needing to like reschedule but we'll, we'll go ahead and throw them all on. And so now, now it's there. Like, so it was that easy to set up really quick. And we, hit, and we gave it the calendar. So now all we have to do is buy a phone number for it. Um, so well, let's save it real quick. So let's go ahead and buy a phone number. The, the number doesn't really matter because it's going to be um, on a website. They're not even going to see it. So like if a 619 is available. And so we're going through Twilio, like not, sometimes not, the phone numbers aren't even available, but they usually are. So let's do Orb Assistant 2 there. So now we're linking it to that assistant. Save. And so now it's ready to go. Now we, but now we need to put it onto that widget. So we're going to come here to widget. We're going to create one and we're going to make it an orb. And let's just say, we'll call it an orb demo for this video. And it's, we still need to assign it to that assistant. So let's assign it to the one that we just made, which was down here, or to assistant, copy. So now it's assigned. And on the icon, the default one is this little robot, but you can actually change it, like whatever you'd like. There's, you know, there's a bunch of different things in here. I don't, I'm not really in, like, well, let's use this, like, maybe we'll use the phone one. I like the phone. And then the color, let's, I'm not, yeah, well, whatever, I'm not really, I'm not too creative. The creative design part isn't my thing. So now all we have to do is we're going to go to get embedding code. Now all this crazy looking code, don't worry about it, you just copy it. And then we're going to, well, let's save changes first. Let's make sure we save the changes. Now let's get the embedding code. So now we have that code. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our sites. I made this like dummy demo site called AI self-selling demo that like <clears throat> I mean I just bought a, a burner one and you would go to your website and just in, embed it so if you're doing this on high level and, th and this really works on like any sort of web builder but if you're doing this on high level what you do is you come here to add element and you're gonna see code so you add the code there and it's, you see how it says custom HTML JavaScript now we you click on it and it's gonna say open code editor now we just paste that in save it save it here publish it and then let's just go ahead and go to it and so now it's there and now it's live. So we did that in just a few minutes. And so we, now I can talk to it. So we'll hold on. Hello, this is Katie, your AI sales representative from Lead Indicator A. Oh, that's funny. I, so I chose the Australian Emily on this one. I didn't even realize. But there, there you see. There you have it. You can choose all different types of voices, but that's how easy it was to set up. If you're interested in this, we'll give you that exact same prompt. It's super easy to just share the IDs. So yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks.